Hey guys, MEP Guy here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and efficiently clean up your 3D views for MEP models. So the first thing you want to do is open up a new 3D view. So I'm just going to go to up to view and hit this little house button. So I'm going to delete my 3D view and all you have to do is right click on it and delete it. And it's not going to let me delete because it's the only window open. So I'm going to open up a new window real quick. And then now when I go to right click on this and delete it, it will work. So the reason we delete our 3D view is so we can create a new one from scratch that has no templates on it. So we're gonna create a new 3D view by clicking on the house. I'm just gonna exit out of this plan. And now we have a brand new 3D view with no settings to our visibility graphics. So everything is bare bones. So the first thing we wanna do is we want to get rid of everything. So I'm gonna press VV for visibility graphics. And all I'm gonna do is select all here and I'm just gonna uncheck everything. I'm gonna hit okay. Now you'll notice all the model or the 3D geometry got removed from my view. Now I also have to remo remove that annotation object. So I'm gonna hit VV again. I'm gonna go to annotation categories. I'm gonna do the same thing. Select all and just click one of these boxes and hit okay. Now we don't have anything in our view, which is good because we're gonna slowly add to it. Now the easiest way to do this is to do it visually. And I'm gonna click on this light bulb and it's gonna re reveal hidden elements. Now it reveals everything in this green color so I can go ahead and select anything that I want to show and unhide it. So for this uh, little uh, example I'm going to unhide all of my mechanical equipment first. So I'm just going to zoom in and you know since we're MEP guys we kind of know what the mechanical equipment looks like. So here's one right here I'm going to click on it and it's going to highlight and I'm going to right click and I'm just going to go to unhide in view by the category. Now when I hit escape you'll see that the color is not gray anymore for mechanical equipment. It turns to that gray color. So we're just going to zoom out a little bit and you can see everything that was mechanical equipment got that gray color. So that's good. So the next thing I want to unhide is all the piping to this because we're just going to show the mechanical equipment and the piping in this example. So I'm going to right click on this piece of pipe or just click on the pipe, right click, unhide in view by the category. And as you can see, everything that was a pipe got colored that gray color. Now essentially what that's doing if we go to VV or visibility graphics if I go to mechanical equipment you'll see that it's actually selecting things in the display and it's linking them to my visibility graphics so even though we did it in the view it actually does it in visibility graphics so I just want to show that to you guys real quick so we can continue on we can see now that we missed some things like these little fittings so all I have to do is select a fitting right click and again we're just going to unhide it in the view by the category and that looks good for now so let's zoom out and let's just hit the light bulb and see what happened so now we have a much more cleaned up view and the only thing we're showing is mechanical equipment pipes and pipe fittings okay so we were able to do that all within that view and it's just a really easy way to do th uh, things when you're unhiding them to make them show up easier so we also have these pieces of piping right here so we're gonna want to hide those but the first thing I'm gonna do is start coloring this so I'm gonna actually color this these pieces of pipe so the way we do that is we can color things based on the parameters over here so I know that all these pieces of pipe um, have a something in common which is called the system type and this one is hydronic return so I want to color those um, by the system so I can right click on it and we can override graphics by a filter and essentially that just uh, pops up the visibility graphics dialog and we can go to filters and we can add a new filter and luckily in the MEP templates um, Revit has already uh, created some system uh, filters for us so we can go to hydronic return hit OK and we can override the visibility of these. So we can go to override and we can color these anything we want. So for the return piping, I'm just gonna use like this magenta color, I think. I'm gonna hit okay. And I also want to do the same thing for the supply. So I'm gonna go to hydronic supply, hit okay. And I'm gonna make that a cyan color. So I'm gonna go to color, cyan, hit okay, hit okay. And when I hit apply here, you're gonna see that Revit is now coloring my systems. So anything that is connected to the hydronic supply or return system, as far as piping goes, is gonna get that color. 
So you can see that we don't have any colors on these other pieces of pipes. So those are pieces of pipes that we're going to want to remove as well. So the way we remove these is we do it the same way. We remove it by its system. So let's just click on any piece of this pipe and let's just check the system that it's on. So we can see that this system is called Sanitary 1. All right, so let's go back to uh, our visibility graphics and let's go to filters and let's do the same thing. Let's add a new system and you can see Revit already has a sanitary system built in but let's say we didn't have that we can always create a new one so let's create a new filter and I'm just gonna do this to show you guys we're gonna name it San because we already have a sanitary one and I'm just gonna select all the pipes and pipe fittings and all this stuff and then we're gonna go over here and we're going to use the system classification as you can see over here and anything that contains the word sanitary and it is case sensitive so we're just gonna hit OK here and then we can add our filter that we just created called San hit OK and for this type we just want to remove its visibility so I'm gonna click visibility right here I'm gonna click apply and you can see that Revit has removed all that piping right there so let's do the same thing. We're going to click OK. And now let's just see what other systems these are, these pipe, pipes are on. So let's click this piece of pipe right here. And this one's on the domestic cold water system. So let's go ahead and hide the cold water system. So let's click VV. And we can also just click on a piece of pipe here and right click. And we can hide in view by a filter. And it'll take us right to the same dialog box. Let's add a new filter. And Revit's already got one for us called Domestic Cold Water. And since we want to remove domestic cold water and hot water, we can just use this domestic one and hit OK. And the domestic one, we can investigate what it's doing. Is it's doing the same thing that I, got, I showed you guys. It's just selecting all the pipes and stuff. And anything that contains domestic in its system classification is going to get turned off or selected. So it's getting selected here and then we're just going to turn it off and we're going to hit apply. Now you'll notice that all the piping was gone but there still is this little piece right here and that is mechanical equipment. So let's click on that and we don't want to show this in this view but it is a water heater so we have to figure out how to remove it and we can use the same type of thing and just use that domestic for the system classification. So I'm going to hit VV, I'm going to go to my filters and under domestic was selecting all the domestic and cold hot and cold water so let's click on edit and right now anything with domestic in the system name is getting hidden but we also want to hide the mechanical equipment that's also on the domestic uh, oops not that one mechanical equipment we also want to hide this one if it's on the domestic system so we're just going to click OK here and then we're just going to click OK again and now it will hide any equipment that was on any system that had domestic in the name. So we also see piping over here so we can do the same thing. Let's just hit VB and we're gonna have to see what system this one's on. And so we can see this one is on fire protection wet so let's hit VB. Go to filter and we have to add a new one and luckily Revit already has a fire one right there. So let's just select fire and just turn off the visibility. Hit apply and everything that was associated with fire it's turned off. So I'm going to click OK. Now you can see that we've cleaned this up quite a bit and so we only have our mechanical equipment showing and we have our hydronic return and supply piping showing. Now to avoid all those steps in the future we could turn this view into a view template so all we have to do is go to view template and create a template from this current view and we can name it. Let's just name it hydronic supply and return. Click OK. And now Revit has created a new view template called Hydronic Supply and Return with all of those settings on it. So we'll click OK. And now we have to actually make sure this view goes on that template. So we can go to Identity Data in this view, click on the View Template button, and let's just set it to Hydronic Supply and Return. Hit OK. And now we know that this view is on that view template. So now, just for example, I'm going to rename this view. So I'm going to go to my view right here and we're going to rename it hydronic supply and return and I'm going to create a new 3d view to show you guys how quickly we can do things now so I'm going to create a new view by hitting the box so again Revit creates that default 3d view 
And now that we have a view template, we can just quickly go to view template, click on none, and we can just change it to the new one that we created, hydronic supply and return and hit okay. And look at that, it is the same, um, basically the same view style as that other one. So let's take things a few steps further. Maybe I wanna include walls in this. Now you probably don't know why you would ever wanna include walls in this, but let's just, let's just do it. So let's click on our light bulb. And from here, it's not as easy, but we can just zoom into um, this wall right here. Let's click on this wall right here. And it is in fact a wall, it says it right here, and we can just right click now unhide and view by the category. But now we cannot mess with these because they're on a view template. So I did wanna show you guys that. So we actually have to now, um, we have to click on our view template from right here to unhide things, okay? So once we create a view template and put the view on the view template, we can't use that, um, that method anymore. So let's click on hydronic supply and return and let's just go to edit right now and it'll bring up all of this and now we can start making modifications. Let's go down to walls by hitting W and we'll just make sure we turn the walls on. Hit OK. And now you can see some walls. Maybe let's turn on some floors. So let's go here, click on this, click on edit again, go down to F and let's turn on our floors. Hit OK, hit OK. And now we have our walls and our floors in our view and that really doesn't do us much good. But what I really wanna show you guys is how you can um, mess with the different um, view settings here. So I'm actually gonna remove the, um, well actually I'm gonna hit the view template and under discipline, I'm gonna uncheck this box right here because we wanna be able to change this, okay? So I'm gonna check that, uncheck that box, hit okay. And now when I go up, I can change this discipline here. And so we can change it to something like coordination. We can hit apply. And now you'll see that um, the walls and the floors get opaque and I can't see all my stuff. But the cool thing about this is we can change some other settings here. So we can click on this and right now it's locked. So again, we have to go to our view template, click on hydronic supply and return. And I'm just going to uncheck all of these like display type things so that way I have access to them um, in the bottom so I'm gonna hit OK so now I can mess with all these settings down here and the first one I wanted to show you guys is the visual style so this is how you change the way the model actually displays so if we hit wireframe here you can see that there's a wireframe essentially so now if we hit shaded or hidden line Revit's going to hide things uh, when they're solid surfaces and also we can use shaded and shaded's a good one um, if you guys wanna see stuff in 3D and we can kinda use it to uh, look at walls and floors and stuff. And there's also consistent colors and that's very similar to shaded but it uses the colors. And there's also realistic um, which is basically, you don't ever really wanna use that one unless you're doing some kind of rendering or something. So I'm just gonna stick to hidden line for now and this looks pretty good. Now I wanna show things at a certain floor level because I want to be able to see my uh, piping and my units on maybe like the first floor or something so I can do some coordination. So the first thing or one of the things you guys can do is you can right click on the view cube and you can orient this to a view and maybe a floor plan. And so I'm just gonna uh, use one of the level one plans, maybe HVAC plan right here. And Revit went ahead and oriented this uh, 3D view to that floor plan. So now I can click the view cube, maybe just click this little corner right here. And as you can see, my uh, model is now oriented to the first floor only. Now I still have all these floors in the way of my stuff, so maybe I can remove my floors. And like we, we talked about, um, we, we can maybe select it. Now when we right click on this, we can't use the hide in view anymore because this view is now linked to a view template. So I could always just remove the view template by clicking here and going to none. And maybe we wanna start to mess with some stuff. So maybe I'll select the floor, right click, and we'll hide this in view by a category. And so now we can kind of see our walls and stuff, but this is not really good. Um, maybe I want to use more of a shaded kind of view. 
So then I can start to do some coordination here with other stuff. But I did want to show you guys um, something else uh, that's interesting. So we can actually go up to the discipline and we can change the way Revit is displaying these things by using this discipline up here. So you'll see that when I change this to mechanical and hit apply, now all the walls are gray and we can't really see them as well. So all that was is changing the discipline actually changes the way this 3D view gets displayed. Okay, so that's really important. So when you're doing any kind of coordination or um, clash detection or anything, you probably wanna use this coordination um, setting for your discipline and that will kind of display everything in a nice opaque way. Okay, now also I wanna show you guys um, when we did have the walls, so let's try to get those back real quick by clicking the light bulb and let's just click on one of the floors right here and we'll right click and we'll unhide this in view by the category and we'll click our light bulb again and now our floors are showing so maybe we want to show the floors down here but we won't want to show them over here so all we have to do is click the view cube to the right and we want to show our section box so let's get that back now we can always just use VV as well and go down to section box so that's actually under the annotation category so we'll go to S and we want to show our section box and the section box is in blue right now right here so let's select it and let's just zoom in here and we're just going to drag the selection box down so we don't show that floor just like that and now let's just click on our view cube right here and now you can see a really nice uh, view of all the walls and the floor and we can start to do some more coordination stuff so I just wanted to show you guys some of those methods now I do recommend just using like the hidden line um, or the shaded view um, shaded is usually a good one um, for being able to see things. Now I'm just going to go back to this view that we created earlier with the hydronic supply piping and uh, heat pumps. And if you guys are interested in how to um, efficiently tag this, these pieces of pipe and equipment, uh, make sure to check out the next video.